Hello, and we're back. Hello. <laughs> Good evening. We should be all hearable. All right. So what I wanted to start off with tonight is we got a flight review. So when we last left, we were way out in uh, orbit. We had just put the ComSat in orbit and left it there. So... What I did while we were offline was go back to the Space Center, go into the VAB, customize it a bit, added an antenna, uh, added another goo container so I could take science along the way to the moon and around the moon, places I couldn't do last time because we saved it all for being on the moon. So that built up some extra science. And I called it various things, but it settled on ComSat Moner orbit. So here comes the launch. We double check staging, of course. Notice I forgot guidance and full throttle before launch. There we go. I haven't seen any of this. No. So. Uh, it's same rocket, essentially, right? Just some extra uh, comms. Yeah, one of the most important. I got it. I caught it right after launch, though. So it wasn't too bad off. We still ended up being off on our orbit. Um, azimuth? Or angle? Forget which. But uh, it works out in the end. Don't fret. <laughs> Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Mute the game. Increase the flight review sound. There we go. That's what I was looking to do. So you can see we wobbled around in the controls just a little bit too much. See how this line is not is below here? I don't know if you can see that. You can't see my cursor. Durr. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Yeah, I'm I'm pushing her over pretty hard, keeping it outside the zone there. Bit of a harsh. Freaking metal. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's not liking it. Ticking and popping, <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> and then I really tried to push it over here near the end, but we got less atmosphere. Once we get out into space, it's easier to move around, obviously. So, um, this is the ascent, and we're about to be done with the first stage altogether. You still hear the music? No. How about now? Barely. Oh, yeah. Well, I quieted it down when I sped it up because it sounds all squeaky. <laughs> So <laughs> here's where I go about planning my circularization of my orbit, right? And I get myself set up on the target, right? Here's our countdown. Now here's where one of the most annoying parts of this is. I'm ready to do it. I'm pushing the button, you know, full throttle, full throttle. No, it don't want to play. It's pissing me off. I, I got to go into this view. Then it responds to the throttle. I don't know what that's about, but I can't throttle or stage sometimes from map view. There's probably a reason for that. Yeah, probably. Now this is a ridic burn, ridiculous long 
And again, I'm trying to stage and it won't let me do it until I'm in that view. Gremlins, yeah. <clears throat> Very annoying gremlins. Um, so we're just ticking along. You'll see it's a, a bit of a long burn. I don't do it particularly uh, down here in the burn time. I wish I could just see my cursor. <laughs> it really helps if I can point at things. Uh, there. I can point to some things. Ah! It goes off into the black hole. Um. <laughs> hey, don't do that. I see a cursor on the screen. Yeah, but I can't move it because it's in the video. No. <laughs> so, I can't highlight. I can highlight a few things over here, but I need to make myself a cursor I can move around. That's what I need to do, obviously. Oh. Um, so, <laughs> anyway, long burn, not paying attention to the creeping target marker. Yeah, it's a slow burn, oh, but the long is burn. Slowly but surely doing its job and slowly overshooting. Slowly. Well, see, because I went and messed up my angle here. Oh, angles. Yeah. And so, in the end, it's going to be kind of a horrendous... Um, Oh, there's all sorts of bad angles, and <laughs> you'll see it gets it gets more angular <laughs> as it goes. Not at all a nice flat it. flight. <laughs> so there we go. I'm all you know, 11 degrees off of horizontal. This is not good. But I think, hey, I'll do mid course correction, right? Maybe. And look, I can intercept the moon. Look, it's got an intercept. Sure, why not? Let's just do it there, right? That sounds good. I tweak it a lot, figure it out. Oh, wait, it's underneath the moon. Easy pass, yeah, dude. <clears throat> Easy peasy, yeah, you would say that. And I think, sure, I get it all lined up. I'll pass. I, need I to fiddle with passes. it. <laughs> I, I do I think a lot I of. I know what might happen. I do a lot of. Clowns. <laughs> but you do, schmack. Uh, and in a failure. <laughs> well, we shall see. <laughs> he likes to do that. What? You got to just, it's gotta just have the drama. But if you note, I'm going under the moon by a good amount by the time I'm there. By a I million, have no idea what you're A doing. million How miles. How am I supposed to know what on earth you're doing? All right. So we get ourselves lined up Southern for the... counter. Yeah, very much. Uh, so now we're. Southern encounter. <laughs> so here I could throttle up fine. I don't know what the pain in the rear. Anyway, so again with the failure to track the little blue marker dealy here in the dealy ball, uh, yeah. the artificial horizon. Yeah. Um, which is why we need a computer for this. Which you know later on I have control over that, right? Like Jeb would be able to do that by now, maybe. Um, yeah, failure to maintain centering and center line and center of thrust. But then, you know, I catch up. I catch it a couple of times. But these long burns, boy. Oof. And we start throttling back so I don't go completely out of it, you know. So I'm getting better at that. Are you? <laughs> at least. Oh, wait. Wait until you see the wonderfulness that comes next. Oh, I hit the wrong button briefly. <laughs> As is always, hit the wrong button briefly. It's good to have manual instrument flight understanding. <laughs> True. Uh, you wouldn't be able to write a... Uh, I wouldn't have been able to write an autopilot or a drone pilot uh, pro program. Mind you, all simulated, of course. Um, without knowing how to fly in general. Pro tip, calibrate engines to low power to avoid overshoot. Good note. Good note. This is why it's called a flight review. <laughs> <laughs> so I figured I was going to do a correction along the way anyway. Um, so rather than burn more fuel just to try and get it back to that exact one, I still had a moon or intercept, so everything was cool. Here I'm sitting here uh, debating on move that down debating on where I get the best electric charge and remember I couldn't tell the charging or discharging last time 
Had to get some mystery goo science in there, of course. That's so gonna suck it all down, right? Slight overshoot rather than massive. Electric charge looks good for now. Yeah, well, sure. that was oh boy, is, is he, he gonna? gonna? Yeah, of course. Of he course. Is. I, I'm never gonna get this thing back. That's why I took two goo capsules. One to transmit here along the way to the moon, and another one to transmit whilst spinning around the moon. And see? I'm getting like a point three two charge. It's He's thought this up through. here where it says electric charge. One third forty. Your finger goes into a black hole over there too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So this electric charge thing in the upper right, that's the one I'm, we're talking about. See how you can barely tell how much it's charging and whether it's charging versus draining? Well, I got a solution for that. We'll show that later. So we uh, continue to fiddle fart with our trajectory, debating on whether I should do this here or wait until later. Well, it's uh, versus positive. Minus versus positive, yes. It's a little hard to read from my view, but... <laughs> Drello, right click solar module, it shows sunlight in percent. Ah, cool. Well, that would allow me to line it up more. But This is a video from earlier. Yeah. No, that's all good comments, because that's what this is the point of a flight review. So here I go, getting the lunar intercept and figuring out how to slow down to get into lunar <laughs> orbit, right? And you think, hey, that's kind of a frunkadillic kind of orbit, right? Because I, I hit on the southern side of it, and so we're going to go around, and it looks to me like it's going to be a different angle than it actually ends up being. Because, <laughs> of course, you know, firing and keeping track of the target here. <laughs> so here we go. Retro burn. Which, it wouldn't fire again. There we go. <laughs> I'll get back to map view shortly. So I was going one way out in the in the space, and now I'm going to slow down to an absolute zero, <laughs> which seems a little odd way of doing it, but <laughs> this looks uh, a little odd, yes. So I freaked out a minute, and I said, wait, this isn't doing what I thought it was going to do. <laughs> and then I reconsidered, and my target is, of course, way off, bad target, bad, bad target. Right, so I reconsider slightly. <laughs> a bit late. Oh, no, see, I corrected it. Just a slight bit more burn, and there we are. Right? Now, I don't know why I want a satellite in this orbit about the moon. It's kind of freaky, kind of flat. <laughs> you gotta just go with it. <laughs> well... I did kind of consider that, and I thought, well, I'll do weird orbit next time, because one of the missions is to put a satellite about the moon in a particular orbit. Um, this wasn't the best idea for it, obviously. <laughs> so, <laughs> I guess we can fit this up here now. <laughs> Hello, new people in the room. <laughs> Sometimes an angled orbit means more coverage, but it depends on your planning style. Yeah, well, you know his planning style. <laughs> what? Have you not miss, met Mr. Ad? Mr. Ad Hoc? <laughs> Ad Hoc space travel. We're not quite there yet. Um, but I, I spent a lot of time diddling with, the, uh, with this and looking around and trying to figure out... Mm, Maybe this is a good idea, maybe it's not. <laughs> and then I realized that one of the things I want to do is put a uh, land, put a lander on the far side of the moon. Because the moon here, like our moon, is tidally locked. And so the, we always get the far side looking away from us. And that's where you get to do all sorts of observation, because there's no... Well, you do stare at the sun occasionally, but... <laughs> so there we were going to do this uh, orbital correction burn. Oh boy. Yep. Because I was just like, that was not... That, it didn't allow me... I did a, a bit of study. I saved. I figured this is a good orbit, and so I save it. And then I go do a little bit of study to see, you know, the coverage of all the... Uh, um, the signal lines that they show between the 
the moon and such. And this is not a good orbit <laughs> for talking to the far side of the moon. Far side coverage can be established with a polar orbit facing prograde and lunar orbit if that makes any sense. Well, I'm not sure. I'd have to dissect that a bit. <laughs> but at the moment, <laughs> I decide that it's time to reorient. So the way you had it the first time worked, he says. Well, the problem was it didn't look like it was going to cover the far side decently. Like if I landed on the southern end of the far side, I'd have problems. Because it acts like a halo. A halo? I put a halo about the moon. Oh, oh a halo. Alright, well I did some more goo study now that I was around the moon. And of course had to transmit it because I'm going to stay there. And then watch the batteries slowly recharge. <laughs> watch the progress bar, which I dislike Are you immensely. The progress bar? I dislike this bar. <laughs> I will show you a better I one later. I dislike this bar. <laughs> it's not, my kind not a of country place. song. And that will be the. That yeah, will be another goal. Steps. I thought you said that last time too. Yeah, we're we're gonna do another commsat on more around the Earth. Of the chain. Yeah, I, we were supposed to. One of the missions is to rendezvous two craft, and it doesn't say attach them and to transfer people and stuff. It just says come close to each other. Always, forever, and ever. All right. And so we can put two commsats in place, have them come near each other, and then retro them apart afterwards. Maybe. So. See, it's kind of a weird... I don't know what the hell you're doing, man. It's kind of a weird orbit. I don't like it. I want to be Comes nice, that flat. Dance. See? Now I want to have a nice... Ah, that's wrong. <laughs> oh. Clear that up. Clear that up real quick. Uh, tweak, 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 tweak. Prograde, anti-normal, prograde, anti-normal. Because <laughs> <That's a comment. laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on. And then get it aimed in the right direction. All right. And tweak it some more. Prograde, anti-normal, prograde, anti-normal. <laughs> Nobody so it might be right. Doing. It might not be right. I'm just tweaking them until I go. <laughs> Mission control. So eventually I flatten this orbit, see? Doesn't that make you uh, car sick? <laughs> I wasn't watching it full screen at the time. So we fast forward to this maneuver. Our final maneuver of the <laughs> evening. It tweaks excessively. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. Not so much in the planning. Gotta play it by ear. <laughs> he does it on the fly. So here we go, flattening my orbit out about the moon. So that we have a nice coverage, full coverage of the uh, far side. And everybody's nice playing in this nice plane. Here's ComSat AB. Here's ComSat MO. Now we're going to do some polar Great. guys. Normal. I can't read that. Creates normal equatorial comm set, thus undoing his original mission. <laughs> but it's like, no, it's 50-50. Okay. Well, okay. it wasn't my original mission to make it polar. My original mission was to put it about the moon. So, <laughs> this guy's off-center a little bit, too. So, you can see that we get decent coverage when we're on the far side. Oh, That's what okay, I'm checking. That makes any sense whatsoever. Mission accomplished. Yep. Mission accomplished. Yay. And we're back to the... Yeah, see? This is where I was studying the... Uh... So there's the moon. There's ComSat MO. In the center ring is ComSat AB. So we got a decent starting network. Of I just take my head off the window and get car sick. <laughs> Then I looked at this piece of trash floating out there being useless. <laughs> it's flying around the sun. The web begins to weave. <laughs> All right. So there was the flight review. Yay. Yay. <laughs> so let's see. Yay. We'll go back to the, to the space center. So along those lines, we talked about, uh, or during all that, we talked about the uh, battery level, yes? Go back to the Jeb Center. The JSC? 
battery level. Why? What's this about? What's this about, she says. <laughs> so, I did Did not like that battery gauge. Yes, I made my own. This is what I do. I make battery gauges. I make stuff. All sorts of that kind of stuff. We make stuff. So here's it in full action and being animated. High contrast battery. So instantly you can tell whether you are draining or charging. Charging is green background, draining is red background. Hi, new people. Then we got, uh, you know, your amount. In this case, it just goes from zero to one. You can make that whatever number is useful. And then we got some positive, negative. Maybe you have that as kind of like bars, like, you know, how much you're charging, how little you're charging. Instantaneous view and instantaneous knowledge as to what's happening in the system, right? Anything below 30% is yellow. Anything below 15% is red. So that's the kind of bar I want. <laughs> I think I can actually put that in um, at the, in the game as a mod at some point. I think point. I understand the battery, yes. <laughs> that's the idea. So that's the gauge I'll eventually maybe, I Thank don't know. you, Captain. <laughs> eventually maybe put it in there. But anyway, so onward. <laughs> onward. The mic was out of sync. Let me go ahead and toss that. We don't need all that excess running. So, we are back in the game, yes. We are floating about the planet. Tonight's goal, mission profile. Well, I don't think you did all that. But it might have we been. have a, a slight idea. What we want to do in preparation for doing it for a contract is to go about the Kerbin in a polar orbit satellite meaning launching north, hopefully I'll get it right this time, versus south. And then, uh, you know, circularize the orbit to something useful, roughly 90 degrees, and that'll be our another commsat. We might even have enough time, since that's just local orbit, uh, to do a polar moon satellite, and then we'll be like all commsatted up, at least for the moon. We should never have un. Uh, lack of coverage along to the moon or the back. Operation. <laughs> Slight idea. <laughs> sure, why not? Well, we're... Pole orbit comes that yep. We are going to put a a, a uh, satellite around the sure you Kerbin are. going this way, or I guess going north this way. You go, Elon. Put up those <laughs> satellites. Alrighty, let's be on to the satellite, shall we? Shall we? <laughs> Penguin MK1. Despite it being <laughs> north. north. The Penguin Mark One is that your suggestion? <laughs> Comset. Mark One, Mark One, why, Penguin. Why is it MK? Mark One, like the first one. Oh, we got this Comset that's pretty useful. Penguin Com Network. Although it's a whole bunch of excess uh, fuel, probably. For Arctic designation. Where'd you go? Google a picture of election orbitals of lithium for best coverage for two additional relays in elliptical polar orbit. Ah. Google a picture sure. of electron orbit. Electron orbitals of lithium for the best coverage. True. Two additional relays in elliptical polar orbit. And Mountain Clown says excess fuel equals variable emission. Better to have a little excess than a little too little. D R A A L O. I'm going to get my glasses. I can't read. All right. These things are yeah, Comsat M O. That's the one we last used. So, a couple of things we're not going to need real quick. First off, we'll rename them. Comsat uh, Penguin Mark One. I can't remember how to spell penguin right now. <laughs> what? P-E-N-G-U-I-N? You just wrote it in the chat. P-E-N-G-U-I-N. That's... Why do I... 
anyway. Dyslexia is a pain on the rear. It is. <laughs> Save. Now, there's a couple of things we gotta get rid of here. We don't need no goo containers no more. Uh, thermostats and thermometer and barometric pressure, probably not so much. This is a working communication satellite. No science allowed. <laughs> That also means that we have a whole extra mess of satellites, or satellites, solar panels. Because <laughs> why not, right? Remember, modification needs justification. Yeah, my justification is I need more solar panels. <laughs> Actually, I probably don't. I don't know. I, I guess I don't know. How do I even know? Let's see. Hmm. It really doesn't say how much power it takes to run the ComSat itself as a ComSat network. You know, if you flew it before, it, and it worked. If you know it, it flew before it worked. No. I just don't know how much... It doesn't really drain when it's just sitting there, really. Yeah, probably. So you're saying less solar panels. Whatever, you already put them on there, go. <laughs> Alright, so the other thing I wanted to do here... Relay and not on... sats don't consume EC while relaying. Okay, good. Miracles. Miracle uh, satellites. I have no idea how to butcher that. We want to rotate because we are flying north. We want this to be thusly lined up so that we will fly northish. Northish. Right I now, that. we don't have any specifics on the exact angle, but as <laughs> close to. Santa Claus. Yep. <laughs> We'll drop some, uh, we'll drop some, uh, boosters on them, shall we? <laughs> I drop boosters all over Santa Claus. That's <laughs> Double check staging. We're yes, I know it all worked before. We're doing a more realistic inner into orbit first. So you're saying I should like go east and then tilt my orbit, or I might be able to do both, or just go north, straight north? He was just gonna go straight north. That was my thought. I mean, yeah, it takes more power and such, but we got a lot of excess here in this upper stage since we went all the way to the moon with it. Like making orbit and then doing corrections until you make polar, or you could do it the fun way, <laughs> plan it. Well, we're gonna come close the first time. I'll just shoot Santa Claus. Mm -hmm. What, he seems to be suggesting that this rocket isn't going to make it to orbit if I go do north. Apparently. <laughs> he knows a lot. <laughs> that seems to be your, to suge it. your suggestion. <laughs> that I won't have enough power going due north without the ex extra oomph of taking off with the circle of the planet. Spin of the planet. 1,000 meters per second. And I got 33. So let's just go for it once and see what really happens. Really roughly is what you gain or lose. Ah, well, the, ooh, a whole thousand? I've only got three. The, when you say it's what I gain or lose, the calculation gets different. This is the rotation <laughs> of the planted. Planted, yeah. Alright, well, we're going to do north in it anyway. Because that's how we roll. <laughs> At least the first time through. And since it's not red to grade, it might... Be half. We know math goodly. Exactly. That's why all this has all the math in it for you. So. He's ready to go. Alright. So, guidance. Full throttle. <laughs> I used to have a rundown, now I forgot it all. <laughs> Alright.
All right, we're ready to launch, and I hope I remember how to tilt this thing in the right direction. Hello, new people in the room. Here we go. Where'd she go? I oh, almost go. <laughs> we're about to go. Let me just find my dingus. <laughs> that doesn't sound right. Let me just find the the uh, countdown application. Guidance to on. Guidance is on. Throttle is full. Staging's been checked. We are off. And we're looking for wherever in the world is north. Roll north, program, north on the planet, right? That's what we're doing. Where is north? That is a scary question. <laughs> Apparently, to him, it's straight up. Well, I'm. I have a. Oh, I have a little issue here with guidance and control. A little balance problems. I seem to be going in the incorrect direction. <laughs> but, yeah, so. I mean, you should kind of know that by now. Alright, well, so much for them. Dang it. <laughs> Dang it. Range safety flight termination is on SRB, SCP, confirmation, so separation, confirmation. We have solid record boosters, separation. And you know, I don't know three letter acronyms. There we go. I know this is a bit extreme. <sighs> I know, I know. It's it's craze balls. But let's take a quick look where we're at. Oh, not too horrendous as far as going due <laughs> north know, is concerned. Boys and girls on the magic school bus. <laughs> I like that show. Beep, beep. Well, we're almost out of the atmosphere, so we can go fast. We got, uh, what's our apo here? We got all sorts of apo. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, coming up on staging, first stage separation. We will stage and immediately go... Pass with... <laughs> Atmospheric escape jerk. confirmation. Alright, I throttled back to let me do my check. Oh. So here we are on the planet. We're gonna do an apo burn. Our goal. Request for antenna deployment. In a minute. In a minute. <laughs> so, roughly that. Alright, back to the antennae. To do, extend antennae. Looks like a little dude. With his two arms. <laughs> Wait, this relation shall end in a polar moon orbit, right? Well, That's the second one. First one, uh, Kerbin. Second one, moon. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we we debating on what to do when, well, the ground ain't gonna come up and hit us now. But... <laughs> <laughs> Almost. Oh, okay. I don't know. I we got a maneuver. Halfway through his verbose plan. Oh, <laughs> all's okay. Everything's okay then. <laughs> now is nominal. Now should I correct? I, I I like the idea of just making one maneuver at a time. In other words, here I'm essentially going to go prograde. I'm firing in one direction, not trying to correct the turn. Prepare for the angle. At orbital insertion. I am prepared. AP, uh, Apple, uh, just yeah, first just orbit. Just get into orbit for now. Let's uh, bring this to the side view. See what kind of numbers we're dealing with. 190, 222. Good enough. Remember, you want to be a little early since the Terrier takes a while to burn. Alright. I don't want to block my view of the... And you're doing an aggressive there polar we go. orbit. Aggressive. How is it aggressive? <laughs> I'm not sure. 
just by a Holy pull. fly to do the, with that much <laughs> speed. <laughs> what? Well, it's only a thousand. You really could. You know, I got a, I got a lot. Yeah, it, well, it's got 4,500 here in space here. 50 the seconds to burn. Too weak for now. Well, yeah, for remote stuff. And we are not risking Kerbins while we have remote stuff. That would be or foolish. Or station, I mean. 36, 35 seconds to the burn. You better oh, burn God, when I tell you to. Kerbals with no signal. No. Ah. Do not encourage him to do that. The sheer the audacity. Sheer audacity. <laughs> the cruelty to Kerbals. 20 seconds! Uber. Uber. 10 seconds! I'm burning it too. I don't see what you're doing. Alright. Countdown. 4, fire. 2, 2. Burn it for 2 minutes, 20 seconds. Maintain centering on the thing deal. On the dealy pop. <laughs> so I'm trying to keep my little guidance V on the blue target. Professional talkies, yup, yup. <laughs> the dealy bop <laughs> diddly. <-bop> diddly. <laughs> dingus, everything is a dingus. <laughs> well, I got 189 seconds Thanks of to fuel. The super. <laughs> All right. We got 37 seconds in the burn. I'm not sure how much Delta V I should be targeting per maneuver exactly. Mission looking really good. Oh, thank you. Alright. Throttle back. You have plenty. Throttling back. Well, there's enough for corrections or boosting if desired later. You know he's gonna do that. He's gonna bounce all over everywhere. <laughs> I'm gonna try not to. I get better. Ish. Just ask Jeb, who's not been in anything lately. <laughs> because we killed him. Oh, look how far fast it's going. There we go. You need at least one puller so we can need to keep this one here, okay? The Kerbals will thank you. All right. Does it need to be any more vertical than that? Like 90 degree, or is that good enough? Like, let's see. What is it relative to the moon? You can make it really polar. Let's see. 73 degrees. Make it nice and straight up and down. Well, we got plenty of delta v. Let's take a or check. Or whatever you want. Let's uh, take a look. So generally, it seems like these ascending and descending nodes are the best places to make this kind of maneuver where we rotate our orbit about. So we will add a maneuver there. Wait. Let me kill the other maneuver that we did to prevent confusion. Confusion. Very confused. I'm confused. All right. So now... Uh, unfortunately, this thing wants to be here. Now, what I want to do is remember the further out you orbit, the more coverage, the more the coverage time. And the same, unfortunately, can be said about the shadow or blackout time. Ah. And Drelo, I would raise AP and PE to five hundred. Five thousand kilometers. So blackouts are rare. All right. Well, we will raise the orbit first, or rotate the orbit. If we're further out in our orbit, should the rotate be easier or harder? I don't know. It's a bigger orbit. Well, let's see what it does here, how much delta V it takes to correct this orbit. <laughs> this direction. And... Ugh, I hate how this doesn't quite let me get where I need to be. Uh, 
destination change is cheaper in a bigger orbit. You're moving slower there. Moving slower there. Am I? I mean, I have to go faster to get to that orbit. All right, we'll save that for later, and we'll do the uh, orbital uh, increase Move first. For orbit further out. The correction is cheaper. Is that well? That's more than that's more than one vote for it. So we'll do that then. <laughs> so instead, uh, we can be done with targeting the moon for now. And uh, we want to consider oops, we're right at or just past Apo. So we want to increase our Apo. We need to put a burn at our parry. Add a maneuver. Prograde until a apoapsis is. So the record orbital speed is 2050 meters per second now. Million meters. And Relic Fan says you have enough for just about anything really, or at least a polar mission. Jayla said we'll prepare when orbit is 5,000 kilometers. Alright, sounds like a plan. We wanted an apo of uh, 5,000 kilometers, you said? Not 1 million meters? Wait a second. Isn't that 5 million yeah. meters? <laughs> You'll see it dip down to a few hundred, perhaps even less. Uh. <clears throat> so, in meters, <laughs> do I have kilometer uh, units change around in this thing? <coughs> <laughs> She's off for the candy jar. Um, mm -hmm. They're in the usual spot. Don't you move the decimal? I wouldn't move the decimal if it weren't for the fact that they're using units, like million meters. If it were just in meters, that'd be more straightforward for me. So, he said 5,000 meters? Yeah. What he said. So, or 5,000 kilometers. Kilometers. Yeah, 5,000 kilometer. That would be 5 million meters. Did you move the decimal? Yeah, there we go. So five million meter. Woo, that's a big old burn. That's a Jeez. big look at that. Well, that's a heck of an orbit. You're saying that'll keep me out of any shadows, huh? I'll just target it. You can do that one step at a time. Yeah. I mean like I was gonna do the Apo to five and then get to the apo and do the parry to five. Wouldn't that be the way? Actually, now it doesn't look so bad. Because I zoomed out. <laughs> Ooh, big old leap into the sky. But still within the orbit of uh, the other guy. Of ComSat AB. So, all right, what's he saying now? Exactness will normally, or normally desirable, isn't always a necessity with ComStats unless contractual. Well, that was one of the next goals, was a contractual ComSat, so... I'd like to be, you know, pick some arbitrary exactness and then go for it. <laughs> so right now, 5 million, 5.0 is all I'm going to go as far as accuracy. 5.0 and some change, as my chemistry teacher used to say. <laughs> I think I'm almost 90 to ComSat AB. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to do this here? Try to keep a wide margin between you and the moon to avoid potential instability. Alright. Moon's going to shake me off my orbit over time. Maybe. Ah. Shouldn't be a problem. Shouldn't yeah, be. Yeah, shouldn't be. We were wondering about that. So, this is Minimus way out here. The moon... Kerbin, 
and all these various other objects. <coughs> is it actually calculating the sum total of the gravitational interactions between all of these different masses? Or is it really just like reducing or simplifying it? I don't know. But yeah. just think about we'll it. We'll just go with like this because the moon has a piece of area of influence. Yeah, the sphere of influence, they say. Probably. I mean, but there's not that many objects to track. Well, maybe once I get enough stuff in space, there will be more, but like now, what do we have? Thousands of things up there? Um, yeah, I bet. Well, yeah, I mean, if you calculate, there's no point in, he says it's simplified and it's like spheres, because there's no point in calculating the gravitational influence of the moon on me, because it's so tiny. So, relative to the Earth, since I'm so much closer. So, you know, the difference falls away in the calculations, and certainly my ability to be accurate in my <laughs> piloting. So, <laughs> so, not much worrying about all that. So let us warp to next maneuver, and do our maneuver. I had a lot of it. Uh, a lot. Warping. That never works for you, does it? Well, it does now. It does now that I can say warp to next maneuver and it takes me to one minute to the next <laughs> maneuver. <laughs> warp is a tool. Yeah. Don't be a tool. You saw how he used it. 40 seconds! Alright. Only dangerous if misused. Well, that's true. All right, we'll, we'll fire up at two, at T minus two. And when you anchor the physics, guys. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Let's click it there. So we're going off of my countdown now. <laughs> we're going full throttle in two, one. Going full throttle. Yes, when I click on the box. <laughs> all right. Taylor says all planets move on rails. <clears throat> you can't disturb them even at the highest crush. Asteroids, on the other hand, can be grabbed to move. They have mass, but no gravity. Well, that's convenient. <laughs> not a, not a unreasonable set of uh, simplifications. Yeah, I think. that's careful on that shell. <laughs> Throttling back. That's what get freaking huge. I did a little two-dimensional gravity simulation in Java once and managed to just randomly spawn masses and have them collide and when they collided their masses would grow and I would track the largest one and we're done. And <laughs> let's see, what did I get? It was 5.0 was the plan? Yeah, good. We're 5.0. Yeah, right? Makes the solar system eventually. Alright. Up a little burn for the parry. Get the parry all the way out to five. That's 5.2. 5 I wish I knew what the heck you were doing. I really, really do. Alright, so by grabbing this handle here, uh -huh. the prograde handle, uh -huh. I'm saying, let me, what would be the change in my orbit if I fired my engine in the direction of travel? In other words, prograde. So if I fire the engine to speed myself up right there, yeah. um, then what will be my new orbit? Okay. And so you can adjust them in all sorts of, well, there's six di directions you can adjust them, right? So you either say I want to go faster, which is faster in the direction I'm currently going, which is prograde, or slower in the direction I'm currently going, which is retrograde. Or I can go towards the body that I'm flying around, uh -huh. which in this case is Kerbin. So uh -huh. this one flies uh, 
what was the name of that one? Quick, quick. I don't know. Radial in, I believe it is. The radial to the radius. Yeah, radial. Yeah, radial radial in. in. Radial out, away from the radius. And then uh, normal and anti-normal. This is normal <laughs> meaning 90 degrees to your path of travel. And anti-normal right. being the other direction, 90 degrees to your travel. And so if you if you combine these up and you do a little of this and you do a little of that and you do a little of that thing, right? Where you, you, you do a little bit of each maneuver, then your engine is pointing in one particular direction. Or you rather, your, your engine would have to point okay. in a given direction. I get so, it. I so, love it. So there's, there's where it says the guidance is now, right? Right. So luckily, we can just go in here and say, nope. That's not what I want to do. Come on, you. Ah, there we go. So if we Step zero... 3A of 100 in space exploration. Yeah. Thank you, Melted Clowns. <laughs> you think I've been paying attention? So, if we Clearly, do... Clearly, you know I have not. <laughs> so, it, now we have the it all reset, right? Yeah. So it's all reset, and I'm only going to go prograde. Okay. Right? Uh-huh. And I'm going to go prograde until my orbit is, Perry is 5, my Apo is 6, so I want to come back from that just a bit. Now I've got 5.7 and 5.0. Come back a touch. 5.3, 5.0. Touch more. And you can use the uh, this thing in here to click on them and do it sort of incrementally. So I want to see... If I have gone prograde, that's expanded it, but it's expanded the Apo a little bit too much. So if I back it up, back it up. And these two maneuvers down here change where in your current orbit you do the maneuver. Mission control looks at mission clock. The <laughs> says round this orbit, but if you and eat. E a quarter rotation in front and behind the meter. Why do you think they're doing in that private room right now? <laughs> <laughs> What's that now? You're saying I could have simplified this? Uh-huh. Yeah, well. That's not the way I roll simplifying things. <laughs> but look at this. We got this nice little double ring orbit, one inside the other. Ain't it pretty? I'm still waiting for somebody to say mission complete. <laughs> I'll be done here in this next burn. Brave, simple. What are we, the Russians? <laughs> <laughs> so I got 2744 Delta V left. That's gonna that whole maneuver is gonna take 405, and to do it at the right time and burn in the right direction. That's what all this is. All that coordination. But luckily, these nodes let you do it without having to bring a play by hand, which was not fun guessing where to fire rockets and such, and for what direction to point. But if you keep it to just simply the individual directions, prograde, retrograde, and not have to do all these other things all at once, and do a series of small maneuvers, one to make your orbit bigger, another to tilt it the right way, then another to go to the next Random body. Random rocket shooting is part of the fun, though. Random rocket shooting. <laughs> <laughs> Randomly at Duna, huh? Well, did you have enough science while you were at it? <laughs> All right, we are warping the next maneuver. Don't don't hang up yet. <laughs> don't run away just yet. We're warping to the next maneuver. <laughs> oh, no. It was way back. Way back when. Way weird. back. Sandbox mode spoils all you guys. Oh, uh, yeah, it does. I don't really think you should play sandbox mode ever. Well, now that I know about career mode. I... Actually, it was, of course... Um, let's see. Can you see these countdown numbers right here? Where? It says node in T 2054, burn Barely, time 20 yeah. seconds. Yeah. Well, I mean, I know they're... There, that's a little clearer. Yeah. I can see right. the numbers sometimes. Yeah, sometimes, I, I mean, they're not behind my shoulder, at least. Yeah. They may be hard to read, but they're not behind my shoulder. That's my what I'm checking. 
25 seconds! Toodle burn! Alright, hands on the controls. Acquire centerline target. 12 seconds! Countdown initiated. Ah, it's out of sync. I'm burning with the one on the on the game. Nineteen oh, seconds off. Per... Yeah, I burn. I I fired early. I do that sometimes. <laughs> 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 I didn't say that. <laughs> I did not say that. Alright, that should be about it. Missing control is at this base. Do you think I'll get to see Dude now? <laughs> well, that looks like he'll have decent radio coverage. I'm not sure if we have any blind spots with the moon. We should be good to go, right? We should be able to land on that. Uh... Heck, we'll be lucky if it's still around. That's a good start, he says. Well... I mean, I don't care if it's 90 degrees mission to you. Complete. I call it mission complete. Do we need to have one uh, polar about the moon? Just cause? Or do we need one around Minimus? Should know. we go for Minimus? <laughs> Why not? We need a Minimus shot. We, we ain't tried yes that yet. yes on everything, yes. <laughs> yes, yes, go to Minimus. All the above. Let's put a commsat around Minimus, shall we? Whatever. Save game. Ah. Calm set. Penguin, right? Oh, both is needed at last. Ping. P I. I Dang it. Penguin. <clears throat> uh, what's the name now? <laughs> <laughs> Penguin. <laughs> Whatever, Comsat Polar. Well, that's so that I remember it later. I'll remember it better. Yes, Doctor Penguin to you. I don't know about all that now. All right, so we've got our commsat in orbit, yay? Yeah, yeah. We're good to go. Sure, why not? I suppose we should shut down the engine. Let's see. What's our, what's our battery? We got lots of battery. That's all cool. Let's just uh, shut down the engine for now. All right, cool. Back to the space center. Yeah. For what? Engine. Pacification. Pacification confirmed. We have pacified the engine. <laughs> so, do you think we have enough delta V to get the minimus? It's called minimus. It shouldn't be hard, right? Hello, all the new people in the room. <laughs> Oh, heck yeah, sure. We got lots. Alright, so this is the drive to Minimus, yes? And, uh, this would be a reason why we would need more solar panel. Further away from the sun, more panel, yes? But we have it now. But we want to rotate ourselves back to east. Minimus has very, very little gravity, however. Capture tanks more. Ah, lots more slowdown. So you'll need to be more considerate of your approach. Yeah, we're gonna flatten our orbit. Nice and, and slow like approach. This rocket has enough TI, inner <laughs> stable do not orbit. What's TI? BB. The typo, that's what it is apparently. Oh. <laughs> TI. Right. Let us that's rotate ourselves wife. back to. Isn't TI somebody's wife or boyfriend or something? Click. There we go. Yeah, but you don't have the comms. 
what comms. I've been fishing for interplanetary data, but for now. <laughs> Well, if we get a comm set around Minimus, you think we can just go for Duna? Let's just go for Duna? Think we can make it to Duna? I ain't zoomed out that far on the solar system yet. <laughs> I don't even know where to... He's just for now. Sure! Sure, why not? Alright. So, this is going to be... Comm set Duna? Duna? There's always an option to do something wild and crazy for no apparent reason. That's us! <laughs> That's one engine! Well, you said Minimus is a pain. Drano says you can show your research tree for tens. Mills and clowns, however, at cost of total disappointing failure. <laughs> <Aww. laughs> well, I'm, you know, Duna's got more gravity, it should be, uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Minimus is a pain. That's what I'm saying. No. Let's just go for Duna, right? You may want to spend some more points. <laughs> Alright. I a hip fracture then. Ouch! That makes my hip hurt. Alright then. Well, we were going to call it that. We're going to go check out the, uh, the parts. I'm going to spend some points. We're going to at least check it out. Halo says. Let's see what we got. This is perhaps the easiest target. To hit? <laughs> or to orbit. I mean, things to land. Duna, what? You seem to be going back and forth on me. Minimus or Duna? Duna is the more challenging of the two interplanetary targets. Eve? We could go for Eve. Eve slash Duna. We, we, we'll throw Valentina on it and go to go for Eve right now, right? Draylor is the only one pushing Duna right now. Bottom node has adapters to point six two five. So to the smaller bits and pieces. Just so you have just a smaller rocket when you're landing on such lighter bodies. Ah. Adapters reduce air drag. He's just looking. Space exploration, flight control, landing bits. Save your science unless you got a good reason to spend. Yes, but look forward. Well, I could, uh, maybe at 138, spend 90 to get a nose cone. Or this nose cone, I guess. Do you need a nose cone? I don't know. Yeah, these get way more expensive. Next step up is 160 each. So, let's get to where we can get to 160. Although we, we'd have to spend the 100, or the, what is it, 90? To get there anyway. So we need 90 and 160. <laughs> you need to figure out how to upgrade your tracking station if you're ever going to go interplanetary. Upgrade the tracking station. More advanced relay antenna. Traylo says I recommend two goo thermo barrow and barrow and two science junior to add for ah. minimus. Minimus. That seemed like an awful lot to put together. Minimus is a good target for all right, me. Alright, alright. We're just going to minimus. Alright. We're gonna rename her. And go to Minimus. Alright. <laughs> You're just going to read your, use your old rocket. Yeah, we like it. We will design a better rocket as you described, uh, Drelo? 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 P-R-A-L-O. I don't know. Close the... enough. I'm sorry if we put you on your name. Sorry. sorry. <laughs> Comsat Men. And we're off. Science Junior equals added mass. Right, but it does produce a lot of science as well. Which, I did use it to just jump up into orbit and use it there, and jump up into high orbit, use it there, that kind of thing. Jayless. So. Minimus is fine. I'm not pushing Duna. Just stating tremendous 
Delta V. Well, I'm glad I got lots of powerful power rockets. Delta console, which normally would be fine, but the terrier in your skillet slash experience. Hey, now! Don't talk to me about my husband. <laughs> oh, I'm plenty fine with the experience <laughs> issue. Oh, yeah, he's got tons of Delta V. But experience is mine. I told you, don't talk bad about my husband. <laughs> so, one of the things about this here trek ball, uh, the uh, attitude ball, is that this is north in the spaceship coordinate system. What is spaceship north? Bubba, it never goes the way you think it's going to. Well, last time we had rotated the spaceship and north was this way, but that was spaceship north and er and Kerbin east. Is it on the pad right? I believe so. It's righty. Looks as about as righty as it gets. <laughs> what do you think, Melted? Look, it's it's wrong. How so? Look at it again. It's not in the middle. Well, it's not in the middle of the so, pad. So this is great tech and all, but what's your plan for a minimus encounter? Slow down a lot. Get captured. Cormoran. North is to the north flag. North is to the flag. You mean north on the planet? Yeah. All right. So we have guidance. We have full throttle. We are all ready and cool on our staging and all like that. So let us begin the beginning. Delta clamp. I think we can just. Do a standard orbit boost Hoffman transfer and add an inclination for a minimus depending on the location and target. Drelo <laughs> says steer with A instead of D this time. Alright. <laughs> Drelo, rocket is lo rotated 180 degrees. Oh, wow, that's enough reason for me to jump back to the rocket assembly <laughs> building and fix that. Let us fix that, shall we? <laughs> I'm not big on that uh, that kind of orientation. Alright. I mean, if it worked before, it did. It only worked before because I stopped looking at the gauge and started looking outside, and <laughs> I flew based off. I was taking a visual flight rules rocket flight, <laughs> which I don't think exists. <laughs> Let's see. Now that looks more normal. That way, my north, south, east, west Unless of my rocket. Made it even more, more. There it goes. Yeah, north, south, east, west of the rocket lines up that with north, south. Fixed. North, south. So tracking, uh, guidance on, throttle full, countdown start. Click on you the don't even game. give us a chance to take a breath. <laughs> Here we go. Yay! We're off the pad. And let's see. We want to get up to... What was it? About 500 meters per second was Who before I start rotating. Just smash into the surface of the moon. <laughs> it's a Were wonderful you... world we live in. <laughs> Are you suggesting that we should have uh, checked Welcome our orbit timing? <laughs> To see what our orbit was and what was the best time to actually orbit, maybe. Hey, I just met you, and this is crazy. But here's my orbit. Intercept me, maybe. <laughs> Hello, new people. That's there. almost correct. All right, so rolling. If you got them, nah, just get it into orbit. Rotating. Well, Staging. Figure out time and once we're in safe orbit. Yeah. Oh. Alright, alright, alright. No, we're cool. We're cool. Are you? Cool. Yeah, now. Yeah. You oh, don't oh. look like you're cool. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting the cool. Oh, that doesn't look cool. It's creaking. I'm trying to keep it at 70. Hi, Flash. Come on, back to 70. 70. Don't lose me now. Don't rotate. Don't rotate. You dang it. Alright, I'm leaving you alone. Oh. All this right. is not going to go well. We all know that. It's not going to go horrible. Stay. Stop. 
Quitty. Right there. All right, cool. <laughs> ah. I don't know. I think we may need to consider our launch window with more detail with business, but you'll see. I get what you're saying. You have to see with experience. I get what you're saying. In the J-Lo end. says, go almost horizontal. A class said, what is that disembodied voice I hear? <laughs> Real program failure? No, that's where I wanted to be. Real program failure. I'm nope. his wife. Here's where we're going. I know, I'll check the apple when I stage. That's my plan, that's Just what I do. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, checking the... Oh dear! Checking! Alright, well, looky there, that's almost nice and, f nice and flat, eh? <laughs> I don't know how it compares to Minimus yet, but it looks decent. So let's get ourselves into a nice safe orbit. Well, I ain't kicked yet. Let's see... That should get us to a decent orbit, eh? You got plenty of gas. Time to use it. Uh, 96, uh, 300. Uh, let's see. What can I do with 1200 Delta V? Let's see, I want to do it that way instead. I'm going to budget my Delta V here. Probably a good idea. <laughs> All right, so nice safe orbit, not, you know, circular and whatnot, but, you know, good for now, right? We got... You're asking me? I have no idea. <laughs> I'm asking everyone. to the burn who wants to wait who wants to flash forward so the encounter is going to be a little bit different than the moon for obvious reasons one Minmus is further and much smaller two much much lower gravity three orbits quite slowly but generally under 200 meters per second is the ballpark I have in my head so 200 meters per second to be orbiting Minimus, eh? Three orbits quite slowly to get it down to that. Ah. Speed depends yeah. on orbit capture. <clears throat> 35 seconds! I can get more exact numbers if desired. Well, we'll get into a nice stable orbit uh, while you do your research there. <laughs> <laughs> if you can uh, stomach the weight. <laughs> 15 seconds! <laughs> Alright, uh, my Ten countdown's nine. late. Alright, close enough. I'm going with the game. <gasps> 1 minute 28 seconds. Raise burn. the spaceship. Cheers, Flask. Here we go. Got to stay on target now. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Lord, please help us in our little tiny ComSat project. <laughs> help us get drowned to Minimus safely. <laughs> oh, great Kerbin Lord. Dear Space Jesus. <laughs> Micro Mini Space Jesus. Micro Baby Jesus. <laughs> please guys, this rocket shield. <laughs> All right. All the robots on this rock, on this space rocket. Yeah, at least there's no robots on the rocket. Thank well, <laughs> I don't care no, about the robots, do I? No, there's They're no Kerbin. They're overlords. Well, if they want to be our overlords, we'll ship them off into space. To safety encounter your majestic chunk of green space glass. <laughs> All right. We're in a little touch off of our target. But not too bad. We're looking good How so bad? far. Oh, yeah. Percentage points. Might be more than 100 percentage points, but percentage That's points. That's of what Minimus is made of. Oh. Since it's not ice cream. <laughs> I see. 
throttle back. Miko, main engine cutoff. Look at how close those two are, the planned versus the executed. I tell you what, I am getting better slightly, if I say maybe to myself. <laughs> All in fine. All right. Possibly. What is that? Mm -hmm. All right, now we're... In our little orbit, we got all manner of commsats. Oh, let's go uh, pop open our antennae, shall we? Do we have one? No, he's there. He's on the other side. Actually, I actually have four. Two low gain and two high gain. <laughs> and eight solar panels, because we're going to be farther from the sun. All right, back to the map. Minimus, you say. Wherefore art you, Minimus? I've never heard of Ooh. that. All of them. Look at all of them. Green rock crystal found in asteroids in space as well as Earth. Minimus, a purple one. <laughs> the purple one. <laughs> Second moon. Second moon. Down here. There we go. That's minimal. Jayla, it's two days. It's in two days is Pi Day. Challenge burn Appalachus to <laughs> oh, one, two, three, four, five, two, six. You're gonna try to I fly to Pi radius. You try it and video it and send it to me. <laughs> you try and fly to Pi radians. <laughs> pi radius. <laughs> All right. So here we are, Comsat Minimus. Pi or round. Um, um, here is Minimus. And what's our angle? Six degree. Er. What's your bets? Take your bets. Should I just go to a bigger orbit and then change my angle? You said three orbits to slow down. Let's well, to slow down once you get there. Right? Minimus is on a considerable tilt. Oh, yeah, look at that. Pie. No, I want pie. If I. Wait. If I had known that Minimus was on such a tilt, I would have taken off in that direction. Yeah, 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 you told me so. <laughs> Did he? <laughs> Well, yeah, he said you should Start maybe play in the orbit. Well, let's see. If I had to have the moon at 3 o'clock like to get out to the moon, then, geez, where am I going to need it to get out to Minimus? Well, let's just place one and see what happens. Or not see what happens, but see what it suggests. That's the commsat. Oh, geez. We're way down here. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Oh, so, somewhere about the descending node. I need to make my own face. Yes. Now, if we prograde a good long while, a little less than that, what do we got? But timing is everything. Hmm. This is two, is very slow. Too, so it's easy to over undershoot since it doesn't catch up too much. And you know that we're world famous for that. Oh, dang it. Look, the moon's in my way. <laughs> Can't be having the moon get in my way. <laughs> Schmacking it. I'm gonna go spin around the moon before <laughs> I get there. That's no useful. Blow up <laughs> the moon. <laughs> ah. right. It's your only Let's choice. Let's try. Let's try this here maneuver. Dee 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 dee. Dee dee dee. I don't see what you're doing. Uh, over here in the uh, <coughs> uh, lower leftish. No. You don't see it. No. Background voice. I would launch a very heavy take with. 
I have no idea. Engine and last correction. I have no idea. Ooh, that looked almost close. Or Apple 3.141. Ah. Uh, oh, I see. Weak engine. Oh, I don't know. I think that's a weak engine. Let's see. What's the best place to do this? Oh, well, that's what I'm missing. I think it might be time to pray to micro tiny baby Jesus in the manger. That's what I'm missing. Inclination first. I agree. You want to correct the inclination first. Dear micro. All right. Tiny baby Jesus. You thinking I'm going to be able to snack, sneak up on it? <laughs> but it wouldn't help. It says melted clangles. All right. So let us fight. Quit it. A little fast on the. Oh. That's what I'm saying. Dang inclination. Uh. Inclination adjustment would just make things easy. Would make things easy. I'm trying to get the view back. What was that bracket? I do not see what you're doing at all. All right. So. Trying to get the view back to the satellite. Oh, maybe we'll do this. There we go. Well, I didn't correct it. <laughs> the problem is, I'm so close, uh, all the bits and pieces are so close together that it's hard to isolate the one thing I'm trying to click on. Not the course. Hmm. What was that? Uh, this one, you say. There we go. Yeah, that's better. Thank you. I couldn't remember which key it was to return focus back to the shift ship. All right. So now we need to correct our have to reboot six degrees. I'm oh, way off. Are you? Yeah. Uh, doesn't claim anything back. lost on my side. I'll be back. Ah. Alright. So, 5.9 degrees. Everything fine on his end. No, not mine. It's back. Wrong way. <laughs> Point two. Let's just try it in here now. Put X in the center square. I can't wait to have a minimus <laughs> cola. What is that? Mmm, what's a minimus cola? cola. Mm. What is it? It, it? It'll have to be very light and fluffy, right? <laughs> to be in the minimus theme. I want pizzas and brownies, but... <laughs> That. It keeps it's still point one. Is point one good enough? Also, be it plus a negative minor relative to maneuver. Yes. Raspberry cream <laughs> soda. All right. Point point one's close enough, eh? That sounds good. 
Why do I have two target nodes? Do I have two target nodes? Oh. Oh, okay. That, that's my that's anti-target. That's what I'm missing. All right. We got 39 minutes to the burn. So we will definitely have to warp to next maneuver, yes? Oh boy. This never works out well. Well, it does when I'm able to say warp to next maneuver. That way it stops automatically for me. <laughs> Engage. Whee! Oh boy. Whee! I never get a good feeling about this. Makes my butt pucker. <laughs> Well, all we're doing here is uh, correcting the tilt, so it's not too bad. <laughs> Never have a good feeling. <laughs> oh, there's time. <laughs> Fifty-two seconds. All right. Yeah, acquire I'm not a fan the center line. Flying. She doesn't like the. Uh, so now we're going to be flying, uh, what is this, anti-normal? <laughs> so if we look at the at the craft real quick, you'll see we're basically pointing downwards relative to the the direction. We're spinning around from right to left. Or, let's see. Oh boy. So, anyway, so that's why we're pointing downward. 20 seconds! <laughs> Yeah, well, we didn't have the warp to next maneuver for a long time, and we did a lot of accidental, of, moved, you know, overdoing. So many things. <laughs> yeah. Please remain focused. Five on the seconds. Minute. Two, one, burning. Throttle back. Throttle back. Throttle back. Fast and safe Cool. That should be about it. Hold on to your butt. Helmet's on. <laughs> Mouth guards. Negative point two. Eh, good enough. Good enough for Kerbin government work. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> so now we want to intercept says, Mr. Minimus. Thank you, Milton Clown. He's trying. Yeah, we're getting there. So now we want to intercept Minimus, yes? Time to experiment with your encounter profiles. Not. That ain't it. Find do, the do, one do. light oh. the light Alright. Hmm, interesting. So is this green line like a separate orbit? Like a nice chasing hook shot. Kind of like this? Or whatever works. It looks like it might work. Let's focus on Minimus now. Oh, that's convenient. You gonna slam into the moon? Uh, doesn't look like it. It doesn't. It doesn't say that we have a moon uh, encounter. Jayla says green line resulting new orbits af after Minimus flyby. All right. Assuming Minimus we let by. it get that far. I say Minimus. Right, because we want to slow down and not fly by, but orbit. Focus on Min. To see. Yeah, let's see what that looks like. Four hundred thousand four hundred forty three kilometer peri. Periopsis. Yeah. It's a pretty I think nice it sounds encounter, good. I'd say. Alright. Well, let's do a little maintenance work here. First off. Of course he's going to transmit data when he's not supposed to. Oh, I didn't bring any science with me. <laughs> this is strictly a comsat. Rotate yeah, screw those screw those science guys. Get over the pole. Wait, no science? See, they're all screaming at you now. <laughs> this is a, a functional comsat. On a new target? Oh my. Oh. <laughs> Target. Oh, that's okay. We're still about carbon. We could just turn this into another com set, right? We can we can ditch Minimus and go to the moon. See? How's that? How about we ditch Minimus? We'll go we'll we'll go uh, no, to the moon. No, you're going to Minimus. Go. <laughs> no, go to Minimus. Anyway, go. 
<laughs> Winston, Winston a vessel to a new moon <laughs> with no science. Screw those science guys. This is engineering. This is science. for the yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Oh, cry, cry me a river. Cry me a river. <laughs> cry me a science river. <laughs> All right, so why I came in here was to oh, check these Lord. guys and make sure that they hibernate in warp. Um, so that we don't uh, There's suck up power. There's of science and money to be made. Well, eventually. <laughs> That's okay, we'll have the comm set to know how to get there, right? Yeah, maybe. That sounds good. B minus extender set for when you go to Duma. Well, sounds good. That's a good enough excuse. Why not? Why not? <laughs> That'll cap off a nice evening of flying. Always science with a new destination. Yes, but we didn't know we were going to a new destination <laughs> until later. Because we have no plan. We have no plan. This is ad hoc space flight. The kind no one will ever do. <laughs> have we even said? Nobody wants to spend time in the van. Nobody wants to watch me build rockets. <laughs> so. <laughs> what? Those relay antennas are not powerful to reach to do that. No? Well. No, you're not going to Duna. You're going nah, to Duna. No, no, no. He's saying that, that these aren't strong enough to transmit to Duna. Right. Which, you know, but will they get from, from uh, Kerbin? <clears throat> Well, good enough for Minimus. <laughs> Burn time 40 seconds in 9 minutes. Well, let's go check to the map. Alright, so we're going to fire. That's going to get us into this here orbit. We're going to get into this nice little orbit where we cruise past the moon, yes. Well, let's see, 8 minutes to that. Let us, uh, we're more or less on, well, let's just get on track and target, why not? Let's get on target to begin with, which is mostly, really, that's the target. Seems odd. But, big warning, be super gentle with your throttle down with this encounter. And we gotta go really, really slow. He said get to go around over three times. You're suggesting that we fire, we have, and then we'll have the second approach here. Well, we'll 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 see we'll, we'll see how much we need to slow down once we get uh, into the encounter. But yeah, you're saying we gotta be really slow when we manage the encounter. That now. What I mean is, once it starts showing encounter, you actually start reacting. No. <laughs> like, be smart, be quick. Watch closely. Watch closely. Oh, you know, he's never going to do any of that, but hey, thanks for the heads up. <laughs> we can try. Oh, that's why the target wasn't there. I was going to say. <laughs> All right. So, we're going for our uh, Minimus injection burn. We want Minimus injection burns all the time, right? Trust your feelings. Live, live and learn. learn. <laughs> or burn. Live and learn or burn up on the way. Let's see. 37 seconds. Do a 40 second burn. Hi everyone that's hanging in there with us. And we got 121 seconds after that. So hopefully that'll be enough to slow down, yes? <laughs> Right. Okay, everyone, here, my little <laughs> Ten seconds. There's the countdown. We're tracking the center in. I hear something. Yep, we are burning. All watching its brave, robotic. 
series reach to new height. And you see the AP indicator is coming up slowly. I can't see nothing. It's see? way over there. This one here. That one's the one we're watching right now. Oh, is it? Actually, I'm watching Watch the... Encounter and throttle back. Might want to zoom in. Oh, too much throttle back. <laughs> All right, we're gonna inch up on her. <laughs> this is as slow as I can go. Yeah, that's really gentle, but uh. Yeah, well, what? you said be gentle. Be gentle with it. We want to match this little brown line, yes? <laughs> that's generally what we do. Ah, okay, good. What are we doing? Check, check, check. Check, check. <laughs> Encounter. Aha. So we got a 700 uh, kilometer encounter this minimus, time instead. Minimus inbound. Oh, looks good. Alright. You're an intrepid little robot satellite. <laughs> Prepare for transit, orbit, capture, insertion, burn. So... We wanted to maybe warp just a little bit. Want to learn how to do the cheapest way? Don't warp, warp then. <laughs> how is it the cheapest way by not warping? Because <laughs> my uh, encounter is Minimus Escape 13 days, Minimus. Uh, Minimus encounter 13 aim days. Aim prograde, aim for impact. Oh, well, yes. We're not trying to kill stuff, are we? No, we just want to... So once we get there and we're about to go around it, we want to slow down so that we... Um, uh, yeah, more or less. Uh, you think I need a correction burn halfway? Oh, I think I know what they're planning. <laughs> that melted clown totally knows. He's so here's gonna do what we're going to do. Exactly what you say, is opposite. <laughs> Not the total opposite. But it looks like <clears throat> what we want to do is what right around there. That's twenty days, the closest approach. So that's on the next orbit around, huh? All right, well. You really want to add more steps to this? Not necessarily. Should I just warp until I'm about to get into my uh, Kerbin periaps or Minimus periapsis? Minimus periaps. If that. Warp to that. Warp to my AP, if maybe. This is just being placed in orbit around Minimus. Yeah, that's the goal. Yeah, we just want orbit around Minimus, not landing. Minimus. Minimus. Minimus? I guess it is Minimus. minimus. I'm going to warp to the AP, maybe? Because my parry's after that? Let me see. Let me... Oops. Can't see the menu. Go for the encounter, not AP. Alright. The encounter. Alright. So that's over here. Minimus encounter. 13 days, huh? Warp there. Alright. Stand by for Minimus Encounter. Whee! The main focus on the vessel. We are now. <laughs> Click on inner end of yellow line. Warp there. Use zoom liberally.
Press slash to cancel. Yeah, it's done. All right. So before I. That was horrible. Get too far off. Um, <laughs> here's my periapsis, right? About to encounter. Yeah, here's the encounter. Oh, it still says 57 minutes to the encounter. Not quite enough warp, was it? <laughs> Apparently not. All right. That was horrible. All we did was sit comfortably. Oh, that's all you did. I'm hanging on the edge of my seat watching it go. Warping to the encounter. All right. Now we've got our thing, right? Oh, warp their encounter. Right. So here's actual minimus. Right? Can't see it with the sun there. Very annoying. You know what so. to do. So here's our periapsis. Okay, standard orbital capture. You know what to do. Yeah. And a maneuver at the periapsis. That uh, retro burns. Which would be... This... Oh my god, what was that? Hmm. I, I'm just experimenting a bit. I got some time to to fiddle. Keep with going my... with retrograde? Keep going with retrograde. Trailer. Just keep going but with warping retrograde? Patient is right. Always remember guns don't kill Kerbals. Time Warp does. <laughs> I agree! Alright, we're going to re-zero this maneuver. This node. Yeah. Is there a faster way to do it than just that? Just putting in zeros? Since you added some stuff. Yeah. Just go retro... Just go retrograde a whole lot, you say, huh? Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, oh, I don't oh need to, boy. don't need to move the node. Oh, oh, what am I doing here? There we go. Oh, boy. And where's the good one? That looks like a nice round orbit. That's what you do, yep. Uh, it's, you know, when it goes all kind of lines go this way and that, I'm never quite sure they're going to come yeah, back. I don't, that's where I'm <laughs> lost. I'm never quite sure. I just trust the physics. Retrograde will get you there if you have enough of it. Huh? Is that what you're saying? I just kind of gently fly. Oh boy, what? Nothing's even happening. <laughs> Near the most baby of all the world. Oh. Little baby planet world. Uh -huh. Babyville. Alright. Babyville. <laughs> Alright. So, shall we warp to our next maneuver instead of waiting two hours? I say yes. And that should get us into a nice, uh, nice orbit. Super low gravity and nice flat baby landing planes. Minimus is ah. a toddler. Gilly is a baby. Gilly is like a premature baby. Hi, new people oh. in the room. All right, preparing for our retro burn and orbital insertion about Minimus with no science, cause me science guys. <laughs> <laughs> this is about commercial satellite re. Fart on. Fart on oh, Gilly God. and you're in orbit. Oof. So a lot of smaller rocketry. Is that what that uh, minimal rocket or minimization purchase was all about? You snort too hard and you're escaping. <laughs> Warping the next maneuver. I held my breath the whole time. <laughs> Well, see, when I say warp to next maneuver, I'm safe to do it. When you point your engine to the sky, you land faster. <laughs> Just generally. Going up to the spirit of the sky. But hopefully we're uh, orientated appropriately for this here maneuver. Let's see. What do we look like compared for to Minimus? Gilly takes forever oh, look at to that. land. Itty -itty bitty little moon. Little, little itty bitty moon. Aww. Little micro baby moon. 
I bet they fixed the warp stuff though. Welcome to Midwest. Bet you wish I could send some science back. But... Yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, burn time in seven seconds! It's done. Baby glass rubble pile. Are you gonna land on it? Or no? no, we're just getting into orbit. That's, that's good enough for now. Alright. Blind burn. No, I unblinded it. I unblinded it. <laughs> Come on now. Oh, sorry. That's okay. That's okay. We can fix this. We can fix it. <laughs> we can fix this. How many times have it. we heard this? That moon likes, look like it's made from smelly cheese. We fix it. We fix it right good. AI hey, Pro. Oh lordy. It's okay. Or Perry. We want to be closer to the to to Minimus anyway, right? And That's why you close enough. Every drop of that. Delta v, v, yeah. Because of these sort of things. I still have 2,000 left, is though. It's forgiving. I still have 2,000 Delta V left, though. And we're just going to shut down engines and Thankfully, let it sit there. Minmus is ultra and venal. So that wasn't the orbit we had planned. <laughs> but it is an orbit that is stable. <laughs> That's the key. <laughs> All right, engine shut down. Let's go. Uh, oh, let us save our game. Yes. Uh, let's see. Com set min in place. Passivation confirmed. Yeah. Engine minimus orbit confirmed. Thankfully minimus. Com network expanded. Let's go see what that com network looks like, shall we? <laughs> show, show, why not? And then you say we need to upgrade our tracking station as well. You could rename the place ComStats. Sats. Like Wincom and Wincom for rapid identification. Draylo, fun fact EVA propellant of a Kerbal equals. 600 meters per second delta B, enough to reach orbit standing on Minmus and land anywhere you want. It's true. Ooh. Well, if you want to talk about what times when there's a butt pucker, it's any time I do an EVA and put a curb in oh, <laughs> loose in space. I have to leave the room sometimes. <laughs> she can't stand it. <laughs> So how's all our lovely satellites, eh? Look at me. This can't EV right now. <laughs> Not very well. We need more practice. Not for a little while. Anyway. We need way more practice. I have to leave the room. <laughs> all right. So we've got both moons. So we're covered in comps. And see, I got this bit of space junk way out here. Oh, can you kill it? Ah. Blow it up? Ah. I suppose I'd have to shoot out there... Have pretty good little network so far. So far. Which one's this? That's Moho. Eve. Is Moho safe to land, or is it too close to the sun? It's too close to the sun. <laughs> it doesn't look good. Yeah. Moho is hot. We only know how good it is when the missions are in play. It'd be kind of fun to deorbit this guy and just let him fall into the sun, just for giggles. Landed on Midwest, in in fact, a good place to train EV A mm. flights. Even if your propellant is empty, you can walk back. Oh, mm. well, that's a good idea. That is good. That's good information. Yeah, Thank good, you. Probably a good place to practice lander too, since you got very little gravity, but you would need a very low power engine. Minmus would definitely be good for some basic hop training. Yeah. All right. We will keep that in mind. We'll. Do we want to well, send I a curb into Minmus? Bad happening. I'm having a vision of things <laughs> smacking into each other. Of a of a Kerbin stuck on Minimus forever. He's going like twenty thousand meters and losing control. Is that our entire solar system. <laughs> I guess so. 
It's as far as I can zoom out. <laughs> Elu. And not being able to counter the brawl because the controller versus mouse. Oh yeah, that friggin' we figured that out eventually. The space bar fixed that, but landing on Minmus is easier than when you have more time mm. for actions. Well, we managed to put something down on the moon and not blow it up. <laughs> most of it, yeah. Then Minmus is flat. Most of it. The, kind of. The second try <laughs> was better than the first. And we did some more science. But no science this trip. Me. Science. Who needs science? What's the science? <laughs> you need science to buy stuff every time, right? I know. That's no joke. Why would you do that? <laughs> need more experience, exposure to countering lateral yeah, movement yeah. with hovering air plaque on moon or surface. Well, my first, ECT. my next goal actually was to put a lander on the far side of the moon. That seems like a good goal for next trip. Yeah. Sounds good? Yes. All right. So let us uh, head on out. I think we're good for now, eh? You gotta pause everything or what? We're going full China. <laughs> well, we managed to land one spacecraft on Yay! the moon. Yay! All righty. Thank you all for hanging out with us. Yes, thanks a lot. We will see you next time. Have a great few days until we talk to you again. <laughs> Bye.